Later this year, Apollo 17 astronaut and geologist Jack Schmidt will mark 45 years since his first steps on the moon in December 1972. Those footprints left an impression on both the moon and on Schmidt. No matter how much preparation you have for experiences like uh, uh, stepping on the moon, uh, it's going to be more than you ever anticipated. Schmidt was the first trained field geologist to observe the moon up close and personal, and he found himself discovering unexpected things with every step. Every rock that we examined had something new that I didn't expect, uh, and surprises is what geolo geologists like. That's why you're exploring, is to see the things that nobody's ever seen before. Schmidt spent a combined 22 hours outside of the spacecraft during his three excursions on the moon. Before his own trip, Schmidt trained other Apollo astronauts, sharing with them his in-depth knowledge of field work. The main thing was to expose them to many, as many different, say, geological experiences as we possibly could. Get them out in the field. Don't let them sit in the classroom. He treated training scenarios on Earth the same way he would if they were on the moon, including simulated equipment, backpacks, and cameras strapped to the front of spacesuits. Astronauts could then focus on what differences in the rocks they were seeing and what rock samples were best to collect essentially giving them the fundamental field geological experiences that they needed to succeed. The four or five days per month Schmidt spent training astronauts in the field really did make a difference. The quality and diversity of the Apollo sample collection, uh, independent of Apollo 17, where you had an experienced geologist, the quality and diversity of that sample collection is just remarkable. Fortunately, the current Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter mission, or LRO, is changing the game bringing back high-quality photography of the moon that Schmidt only wished he'd seen before his own trip. The Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter program now has provided us with a much, much higher resolution suite of photographs for any future astronauts. What we learned from the Apollo missions helped lay the groundwork for LRO, and LRO will help guide future explorers. Every new uh, environment in which a geologist works is usually very different than the last, but you have learned things from your previous experiences that that do in fact enable you uh, to ma maximize the value of your new experience. Schmidt has his fingers crossed for future moon exploration, a landscape he considers holds answers to many questions about the early solar system. Uh, you can hear people talk about it, but you, you can't absorb it until you're there.